Morning, young lady. With your leave, it ain't safe riding these parts alone. I thank you kindly for your concern, gentlemen. I've heard tell there were highwaymen working the trailers in this pass. I'm guessing you are Tom Tobart, and your rotund friend would be William P. Parker, also known as the Dark? Don't trifle with us. Put your hands where we can see them. Seeing how you ask so politely... What'd she do? No, I can't see a thing. I'm going to ask you not to do anything liable to provoke me. What do you want, Missy? Oh, I want a lot of things. An end to war, hot meals for orphans, and votes for women. But I'll settle for the whereabouts of your ringleader. You two piss ants ain't worth more than a few hundred dollars all in. I got her. You're not so full of sass now, are you? Now, I should warn you, the doc ain't got no compunction against hurting the fair sex. So why don't you tell us who you are? Name's Jane Autumn, and I still got plenty of sass. Primarily, because I bought a big, <gasps> strong friend with me. <gasps> you seeing what I'm seeing? I reckon that's Tom, Doc, and Jojo of the Acker Gang being brought to justice by a teenage girl. Hmm, that just ain't right. Evening, Sheriff. Got three boys here looking for a cozy place to spend the night. I fear they's a bit shaken, so don't pay no mind if they start speaking nonsense. Robot! I wired the Wells Fargo Company. It'll take most of two weeks to get your reward money. Oh, I have other business ventures to keep me occupied. Sign here. I hope your other business don't include going after Lucas Aker. We don't need no trouble around here. Do I look like I bring a lick of trouble to anyone? For starters, my deputy sure's tripping all over himself since you walked in. Now, if you ever find yourself with a problem too big to handle, you wire my associate and me. Why are you where? Anywhere. Any town. Just send the message through the telegraph and we'll get it. Evening, Sheriff. Deputy. Did everything go well in town? Of course. Why wouldn't it? Citizens of these parts are not comfortable conducting business with a woman. Oh, but a seven foot two steam pad mechanical man would put him right at ease. Point taken. Those three will only fetch up to $275. We have to go after Lucas. Ain't none of the rest worth thinking of. You did it again. Did what? Ended your sentence with the preposition. Land sake! And ain't, ain't a word. Look, I'm bushed. All I want is to quickly make camp, get a good night's sleep, and to finally catch Lucas Acker. Can we do that? Yes, we can. As soon as you stop splitting your infinitives. <laughs>